This is D-Man in my opinion, and I'm going to tell you something right now. If you got an opportunity yesterday to watch that Utah-Alabama game, I'm going to tell you something right now. Me, like the rest of America, had Alabama winning that game. I thought Alabama would be too big, too strong, and they would beat the Utah team down. But as you saw last night, Utah was just too quick, too fast, and they just had too much hunt in them. That dog was fighting all day long. That defense is just ridiculous. That defense stuck Alabama at every opportunity. I'm going to tell you this. You guys in Utah need to be very proud of yourselves. You have a team that deserves to be ranked number one. They deserve to have a piece of that title. And the people in the BCS, if they don't wake up and find a way to get this thing right, college football is going to lose it. Because this here is atrocious. Utah should be ranked number one and have a piece of that title. And the problem is, if Texas goes out and put a whooping on Ohio State, and Florida goes out, or, or, or it doesn't matter who wins that Florida game, but if Texas goes out there and put a whooping on Ohio State, you got Texas, you got uh, Utah, and you got the winner of that game. Who's number one? Well, there's only one undefeated team in the country, and that one undefeated team needs to have a crown. So if you can find a way to not give them a crown, I would go nuts if I'm in Utah. And everybody associated with college football should be going nuts. First of all, if Texas win and uh, Oklahoma wins, I'm telling you something right now, we have a big problem. Because how in the world can Oklahoma be ranked number one when they lost to Texas? Texas should get a share of that title if they beat up Ohio State. But here's the big problem. How can you leave Utah out? Not only did they beat Alabama, they beat them down in every facet of the game. So there's no way in the world Utah doesn't deserve a piece of that title. Do we have a three-way split right now? If we don't have a bowl playoff game after this year, I hope Obama goes nuts. Because this is absolutely wrong. Let me hear your voices, Utah. Speak up and let the world know that you're there and you need to be accounted for. You played a hell of a game last night. You should be number one. 13-0 does not sit behind a 12-1 team. 13-0 does not sit behind a 12-2 team. 13-0 is sitting on the mountaintop like Martin Luther King and looking down for a little bit of change because you are the best team in the country. It's sitting in Utah. Figure that out. That's in my opinion. I'll get you.